All right, guys, let's talk Tesla earnings. Big story here this week, guys, and I'm gonna be coming at you from the perspective of an options trader, not an investor. So I got no biases, guys, on Tesla in the long term or the short term, and I've had a hell of a good time trading it this year. But what I'm gonna talk about, guys, is what's taking place in the options world right now, and it makes no freaking sense, right? So Tesla earnings this week, guys, check this out. All right, now, never mind the fact that premiums are through the freaking roof. In the money's going for 140 bucks right now regardless of that pre-earnings iv pump this is still freaking crazy right now to make matters worse guys you got a dollar a premium all the way out to 3500 that's not the worst of it though right the worst part here is guys you actually got people buying this shit today right check out the volume on the 3500s check out the volume here on the 3000s the 2800s you name it People are actually buying these freaking lottery tickets. Now, I don't know if it's the Robin Hood traders, Wall Street bets. I don't know whose man's this is, but guys, this makes absolutely no sense, right? Let's have a quick discussion here on how options work into earnings. The first thing to consider, guys, is that for those options to have any value at all, they're going to have to end up going in the money. In other words, this stock is going to have to go from about $1,600 to $3,500 in a couple of days. It's about a hundred plus percent move, guys. Do you really think, regardless of how good earnings are, that this stock is going to double in one or two days? Right? Doesn't that sound maybe a little bit far-fetched? Don't you want to take into consideration that based upon the math and the pricing behind options, that these given calls have a 99.63% chance of expiring absolutely worthless? What about the fact, guys, that the market makers... The dudes who freaking price these options for a living, what about the fact that they're telling you they're only expecting about a $200 move to the upside or the downside? You look up here, family, those three little M's, market maker move, that's the expected move. Right now, the market makers are pricing in about a $200 move to the upside and about a $200 move to the downside after the earnings announcement. What that means, guys, right, other than the fact that the people who price options are expecting about a $200 move, what it means is that if we make anything less than the expected move, we gap up 160 points, we gap down 180 points, it doesn't matter. For any of these options to hold their value, never mind gain value, the morning following the earnings announcement, we need to make a bigger than expected move. So, right? None of this is making sense here, guys. The dudes who price these things are telling you they're expecting about a $200 move. Yet you have traders going 10 times the expected move buying these lottery tickets, which you guys got to really understand. It's a double-sided game here. Anytime you buy an option, somebody is selling it to you. Smart money's not buying 3,500 calls today thinking that's going to be a profitable trade. What the institutions, guys, and the real smart money is doing is selling yo dumbass those calls, right? You want to buy a 3500 they're going to sell it to you. You want to buy a $3,000, they are going to sell the crap out of these crazy lottos and then collect all that premium, guys, the morning after earnings, assuming we don't make a 120% move after the announcement. So, you know, trading has become this thing, guys, that's been really popularized this year, right? Almost glamorized a little bit. And unfortunately, it's really easy to get into the market now. You download an app like Robinhood, you know, 20 minutes later, you're in the market. You know, you got to understand how options work. I've never seen a time quite like this, guys, where you have, you know, so many people participating day to day in the market who, you know, and I don't say this disrespectfully, but just have no freaking clue what they're doing, right? Really have no idea how these options work, but they love it because they've been buying Tesla calls and hey, it keeps on working. But there's math behind these options, guys, right? You got to understand just kind of reality, right? You go this far out the money, that thing ain't going to be worth shit if it doesn't go in the money. And the chances of Tesla, guys, making a 100 plus percent move, well, you don't got to take my opinion. Look at the probability here. So we got this tool, probability of the option expiring out the money. In plain English, guys, based upon the math behind these options, this is telling you what are the odds of any of these calls or puts expiring absolutely worthless. So, any of y'all out there today that bought a 3500 call, well, we'll see how it goes. But right now, there's a 99.7% chance 
that trade goes to absolutely zero. So this is a bit crazy to me, guys, right? I'm all for a good time. I'm all for a few lottos every now and then, but this is beyond a lotto, right? This is just free money to the market makers, free money to the institutions selling these bozos, these options. So I don't know, guys. To me, this is freaking crazy. I'm sure like the rest of you will be glued to the TV once the market closes on a day of earnings, and we'll see how Tesla goes. But one thing I can promise y'all is you will not find me buying a freaking 3500 call. Come on now, y'all. Come on.